Hey guys, I want to bring to you a new product review. Uh, this time it's on a Stoma Guard called the Stoma Dome. Stay tuned. So one of the really unique things about the Stoma Dome is the fact that it doesn't require any kind of um, attachments to keep it on you. There's no uh, belt loops, there's no band or anything like that, which really sets it apart from a lot of the other guards that I've uh, seen and used myself. Now one of the things you'll notice right away about the Stoma Dome is the fact that it's really small. Um, here are the measurements on screen here, but I'll throw up a comparison between a couple of other uh, guards that I've reviewed, and you can see that it's just tiny in comparison. And you'll also note that it doesn't have any kind of bands or accessory belts or anything like that uh, that it needs. Now in order to get the Stoma Dome actually onto you, uh, you do have to apply these stickers and they're they're basically Velcro crescents that go onto your pouch and then you would basically attach the Stoma Dome on top of that. Now this has some positives and negatives to it. Um, one of the things I really liked about this particular idea is the fact that it does feel more comfortable on you. I mean, you don't have a band uh, when you're wearing it, so it does feel comfortable. But one of the other challenges that I found is that it moves around on your pouch, and it's especially noticeable when I'm wearing an opaque pouch, so one that has a cloth cover on it. And you can see in the video here, uh, just giving a demo on exactly what, what happens. Now, in order for me to uh, kind of work around that situation, I basically cut the fabric away in the spot that I'm actually putting those um, stickers onto and that seems to mitigate it a bit but it still is uh, a bit of an issue. Also another thing is as the pouch fills uh, I do notice that the the guard will sag down along with the pouch and for me that's a, a little worrisome because at that point it's not actually providing any kind of protection at all so you do want to make sure that if you have this guard on um, you do want to keep your pouch as empty as possible. And that's kind of something you have to do with most other guards anyway. Uh, but what tends to happen with most other guards is uh, they fill on the bottom while the rest of the guard is still on top because they're, they're secured in place uh, using some other method. So for convenience sake, the guard actually works out pretty well. Because it's such a, a small guard, you can you know throw it in your supply bag or travel kit or purse for that matter. And you know you can basically attach it on whenever you need to. Uh, it's not bulky at all, so in that regard, it's, it's actually really cool. Now, something that I think really needs to be mentioned, because this is a huge uh, bonus for this particular guard, is the fact that I've been able to wear it with a pouch cover and also with a stealth belt. Um, this is something that I don't really see with any other guards, mostly because they're so big and bulky that you know you couldn't really fit them comfortably underneath any of these accessories. But uh, stealth belt... Uh, awesome wraps, pouch covers, uh, no trouble at all. So that's that's a huge plus, I think, for this kind of guard. I've used this particular guard on many rides uh, at Canada's Wonderland. Many, many, many dozens of rides. And it actually works really well. Um, I'll play a couple of videos here just after I've been off some of the rides, uh, just talking about the experience, but overall it's been extremely positive. Okay, so we just got off uh, Black Lot Stunt Coaster. Now, this ride is probably one of the most aggressive, I think, as far as uh, the pressure that it puts on your abdomen. And uh, with the Stoma Dome, I actually felt really comfortable. Uh, it didn't cause any trouble, and because it's such a low profile, I think it, it just made it feel a lot more uh, comfortable on the ride. Some of the thicker um, guards, they tend to dig more into your skin when the lap bars are really tight. And I just didn't find that that was happening with this particular guard. So I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Okay, so I just got off uh, Vortex. This is actually the first time on this ride. And um, it put, the harness actually comes over your head and then it comes right over my stoma at least. And uh, no problem at all. Uh, the stoma dome worked really well. Uh, no issues. Great ride actually. So. So I think that if you're someone that's looking for a guard that is uh, nice and compact, um, not necessarily something that you're going to need to use, you know, all the time, every day for, you know, every situation, I think this is actually a, a pretty good guard for that. For me, you know, I will be using it in certain situations, but um, in certain situations where I find that, you know, I will need 
heavy protection because you know I am expecting to have impacts to my gut then I probably won't be wearing this particular guard but for you know most other things everyday uh, situations I think it's fine it, it works quite well and uh, you know it's not as expensive as some of the other guards that I've seen out there so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, there's quite a few more details in the written post, which I will link below. But um, yeah, you know what? Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, thanks for watching.